Hey guys, this one shock APC as US says APC supporters attacked and prevented Igbo people, non-party members from voting during Lagos governor poll in, in presence of police personnel. The report mentioned that several observers who were present during the election opined that the result of polls largely reflected the wills of the voters despite voters' intimidation and suppression in some part of the country. Hmm. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, I beg subscribe, share this video, let it go viral and don't forget to give us a thumbs up, please. The United States government has analyzed how supporters of Nigerians' ruling party, the All Progressive uh, Congress, APC, attacked and prevented supporters of opposition parties, particularly Igbo people, from exercising their voting rights during the Lagos state governorship election in March 2023. In a report titled 2023, Country Report on Human Rights Practices, Nigeria. The U.S. Department of State noted that the recent 2023 general elections in the most populous African country was characterized by irregularities and violent incidents. The report mentioned that several observers who were present during the election opined that the result of polls largely really reflected the wills of the voters, despite voters' intimidation and suppression in some parts of the country. He said, abuse or irregularities in recent elections, national elections were widely reported to have reflected the will of voters, despite technical and logistical different difficulties and some irregularities. Many independent observers observed the results of the presidential, legislative, and state uh, level elections during the year. It reflected the will of voters. Despite the reports, have vote suppressions and vote buying, campaigning at polling stations, lack of ballot, uh, sincere violence, and intimidation. During the March 18 state election in Lagos, all Progressive Congress APC supporters reportedly intimidated and suppressed voters in Igbo dominated areas, which Labour Party presidential candidates and ethnic, ethnically Igbo Peter Obi won in the February 25th national election. Vera videos on social media shows APC supporters in Ojo threatening to attack the ethnic Igbo voters presumed to be pro Obi in Eti Osa. APC supporters also attacked journalists and in some cases shut down voting and prevented non Yoruba voters from exercising polls. They similarly destroyed property and physically blocked voters in uh, Adofin, according to videos posted on social media. Police officials were present but failed to respond to attacks. There was no evidence that alleged perpetrators were arrested or prosecuted. It had it. It's a shame. <laughs> it's a shame, oh, it's a shame. Hmm? It's a shame. Honestly speaking, the world know what happened in 2023 elections in Nigeria. If we like, make we cover them. You get. If you like, make we cover them. But this is just medicine after death. Okay, everybody know what happened. The world know ha what happened. So, what happened next? Me and I don't like all these things. It just be like when they say, hey, somebody buy, hey. Later, later, the, the person don't buy finish. They come bury the person do everything. One person go come come and hey, now we kill him. Hey, so for what extent? Waiting that one go come do. Who not don't buy? Who not don't buy him? 
when the matter then on, when I know who come tell us, say, see, at least stand and fight for the masses. When are they talking and say, these people, they are, they are part of our problems. You get? These people, they are part of our problems. Why did it take them so long to speak up? Why? Why are they telling us now? Even when Nigerians were shouting, people talk. Nigerians cried. Yeah, tried. Called on in international communities. Make una con make una con savers. Because this matter don't tire us. The ruling parties they are intimidating us. But no, they kept mute. After one year, neither they call they talk all these ones. Like I ask again, for what extent? With this, their report go. What are they trying to tell us now? Because me, I not understand. Telling us this one is just like uh, injury when you don't get before. Mm? You don't go. Neither see go carry razor blade. Go they touch the place just to weaken it, to weaken the pain. So they don't talk finish. Uh huh. What they are telling us right now is it that it didn't happen? Nigerians knew what happened. Everybody understand. But what can you do when your hands are being tied at the back? So when when they were when when Nigerians expected them to speak up at least, do something about what is going on, they not talk. Now then they begin they talk. Why are they talking now? Make waiting happen. I bet make we hit another news. I want to see this matter. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.